Good day, my dear students. Kumusta? Hinaot na amo sa mga panlawas o hinaot na amo sa pagtuot sa atong ginoo. Kumusta inyong mga online classes? I hope okay ra sila. Okay, so this video presentation will uh, help us learn network configuration and local area network setup. So this topic will be a preparation for our hands-on activities as our lesson progress. So pohon class, there were a chance so do na tayo mga hands-on activities if God's will. Okay, let's continue. Objectives of this topic at the end of the discussion, the student must have or you must have differentiated three types of IP configuration. So, tulo ka klase, how to set up IP. Actually, duhara na siya, pero ang usa, automatic mati siya. So, do na tay static, do na tay DHCP, and do na tay itawag ang API pa. Next, identified network hardware for LAN setup. So, ito may bawaan dali nga discussion, unsa nga mga network hardware ang ato magamit when we set up LAN connection. And lastly, of visualize the overview of local area network. So ato makita unsay mga unsay mga parts or unsay mga hardware unsay paagi sa connectivity o makaplano ta unsa na to pagbuild sa atong local area network. So what is local area connections? Local area connection is created automatically if a computer has a network adapter and it's connected to a network. So kung atong computer class is makonek sa usa ka network, let's say na tay computer, then nasa gitawag og network adapter. Built-in man ang mga network adapter ang uban kanang by NEC or network interface card. So kung once taura na nimo cable like patch cord, ini connect nimo siya sa network, it becomes a part of the network. Mahimo siya nga host the computer or host connected to other computer, it becomes a network. LAN can comprise few or many computers. Pwede gamay ng computers, pwede sa daghan. As long as it is governed by one administrative control. Three common network configuration and IP addressing. So, mano yung ganyan ganiha. Manual IP configuration or gitawag ito static IP. Manually IP addresses that are assigned manually are called static IP addresses or I static IP address so these addresses are fixed and don't change unless you change them so fixed ni siya, kayo mo man siyang i-encode, static so meaning, stagnant or kung ano siya naka-encode ni mo, fix hindi ni siya mausab unless usbon sa network administrator another one here dynamic IP configuration or magamit ani class of dynamic host configuration protocol na server or DHCP server pwede siya server computer or pwede siya router if one is installed on the network DHCP server or a router assigns dynamic IP addresses at startup and the addresses might change over time dynamic addresses is default con is the default configuration so here once na tayo gitawag ng DHCP server or router once ang computer mo start up mangayo isag IP sa atong server or sa atong uh, DHCP server then makadawat sa IP tungod sa pag-assign sa gitawag natog dynamic IP so kasagarang gamito ng class is router so the time so di ta maka makaingon nga ang atong computer na agit sa gitawag na fixed IP kay from time to time there there was or there were changes sa atong configuration automatic na siyang mag-change pod Example, 192.168.10.12 imong IP with the next day, next week, 192.168.10.13 or unsa nga set sa range sa imong router. So, muna dynamic. So, delete na ka mag-assign ana. Automatically, the router will assign or the DHCP server will assign. API pa, kini class, it's an alternative version 4 of IP address. Magamit ato ni class when wala tayo gitawag nga DHCP configuration or wala yung DHCP server nga muhatag og IP and also wala po tayo assign nga static IP so kasagaran sa mga Windows OS assign an alternative private IP address automatically example here by default the alternate IP address version 4 
is the range from 169.254.0.12169.254.255.254 with a subject mass of class B which is 255.255.0.0 So, kaninga type sa IP addressing automatically assigned by OS when the CP and static address is not configured Okay Building a local area network host and type of connectivity. So, once you build a network, you need to plan. Kinahanglan, mahibawa na to class ang number of computers, number of network devices, of numbers of peripherals, no? Determine the number of computers you want to connect, the number of computers you're connecting will determine the type of network hardware you need. Kung pila kita sa sa cable, so magdepende niya class sa planning. Okay? Next. Host and type of connectivity, if you are connecting only two computers, will just need a single cross overpass cord in order to create a peer-to-peer -peer connection. So, kung duhal lang ang computer, only a patch cord na gitawag o crossover ang atong gamiton. So, wala yung network devices between them. If you are connecting four or less computers without internet connection, you need just a single router or a switch. Mubo, gamay nga switch. Uh, like for example, a 5-port switch or 8-port switch. Or a network switch, just create a small LAN. So, depende sa imong setup sa imong network. If you're connecting 4 or more computers, you need more switches to connect or accommodate number of hosts. Magkadaghan ang atong computers, magkadaghan sa ang needs sa atong hardware na maka-accommodate sa connectivity. Example, na kay 8 computers, so you need, you need gas eight ports sa imong switch or more if you're connected if you're to connect computer to ISP or atong internet no internet service provider we need router modem as gateway of the internet connection provided by ISP so mo na kung pa ka globe na kay globe modem so globe modem mo na mo serve as a gateway gikan sa ISP to connect internet to your computer so, gateway siya para makonek siya sa internet. Okay? So, muna siya ang um, how to determine class the different hardware or different equipment needed for building a network. Depende sa gidaghanon sa imong host. Depende po sa gidaghanon sa imong uh, devices. Kung daghang kag host, kinahalang madaghan sa ang number of ports sa imong devices. Okay. Network layout and hardware devices. For your, if you're installing a permanent LAN solution, you want to keep cable length in mind. You need one Ethernet cable for each computer you want to connect to the LAN, as well as an Ethernet cable to connect to the router to a switch. So na kinangla na karon o gitang ato switch. Okay, as you see sa atong picture here, kita kag switch, kita kag modem. Then kini nga modem pwede siya mahatag o wired and wireless connectivity. You can sa modem to switch to computers to laptop. Okay? So, nakita na nato din sa atong picture. You also connect considered extending wireless connectivity, Wi-Fi to mobile devices. So, depende sa imong setup. So, kining nga setup, kining cloud, kining ISP, internet. So, para maka-create up, maka propagate internet, kinang sa modem, nga mudawat, gikan sa ISP. So, gikan sa modem or gikan sa router padong sa atong switches gikan sa switches makonek na atong mga computers via wired connections if we wanted wireless connection so atong set up ang access point nato na which is our modem or router okay next hardware selection okay to ob obtain the network hardware to create a LAN you need a router or a network switch no the species of hardware are hubs in your LAN and all your computers will be connected to them. So, depende. Dari a class, natay lima ka mga ports. Okay? Kasagaran sa router or modem, lima ka ports, ang usaka ports intended only for ISP, connectivity or internet connection. Ang upat ka port intended for uh, computers or intended na sa asa ni mo siya i-connect, no? Pwede ka mag-connect og lain na po ng switch to get more cost na mga-connect sa imong 
network or pwede ra upat ka host or kini nga upat ka port pwede sa dimo i-connect na pog upat ka switches so mudaghan magkanam og kadaghan ang mga connect sa imong network as long as magpuno kag mga switches of course kita na pag cable nga gamiton kita sa og straight to cable para ma connect ka ngadto sa mga wired computers the easiest way to create LAN where every computer has access to the internet is to use a router umuti, router and then add network switch if router doesn't have enough ports kung dagang ikang computer let's say na po nga upat na ang ports sa imong uh, modem or router kinahang lang kag switch switches are similar to routers but do not automatically assign IP address switches typically have more internet ports than a router has so sa mga switches natay 5 ports 8 ports, 16 ports, 24 ports. Natana. So meaning, daghan nga ports, daghan nga computer ang mga connect. Cable must be considered upon building land because it serves as a long-term investment. So ato sad i-consider ang cable while building land. Why? Kinahanglan mudugay siya no. Kinahanglan kita usag long-term investment nga dili ka magisig ilis kada tuig kinahanglan mudugay or natay quality sa itong mga cable para mulong last siya sa atong network. Okay, hassle kayo class from time to time mag-ilis ka cable. Just imagine your house if every year mag-ilis ka sa electric electrical connection na ng mga cable. So, hassle ka ayaw. So, kinanglan atong i-sure class na ang atong cable gamiton is a quality one. Wired connections. Connect your modem to one port on a router. This may port be labeled internet. So, muna ang giingon. Ang Osaka port anin ay label nga internet intended for ISP only. They'll, this will provide internet access to every computer that is connected to your LAN. You don't need a router at all to create LAN, but it makes things easier. If you just use a network switch, you need to manually assign IP address to each computer after connecting them. Kung sa may kalahian, kung switch o router itong gamiton, so kung router, makahatag siya DHCP, IP, dynamic IP. Kung switch lang, wala yung router, either a PIPA or you need to manually configure the static IP. Ang sabtan, so kung router, ang router can automatically assign IP address. Kung switch lang, without any router, you need to have your static IP or a PIPA. Connect the switch to a LAN port and router. If you're using a network switch to connect more computers, connect it to one of the ports of the router. You can use any open port on the switch to make the connection. When connected, the router will provide IP address for every computer that is connected to either device. So, based sa maong nga paragraph or kini nga mga lines, nga ang router balik ko na ko, makahatag sa IP ang switch is delay, pero once ang switch connected na sa router, pwede na makapropagate og mga IP ang router to different hosts o sabi sa pila nga host as long as makabird siya sa network example na ay upat ka ports, kini nga upat ka ports connected by each of them class, gikonek ka mag 8 port na switch, so ang 8 minus 1, kay gikonek man ani 7 7 times 4, that is, pila mo na? 28. So, meaning, kung nakay upat ka mga switch ng 8 ports plus this router, pwede makakonek ang 28 ka mga computer sa imo network. Ganong 28 man, sir? Ganong di man 32? Okay, mo iban man tag count, ani? Kininga, kininga port, mo connect ka to sa port po sa switch. Kininga port, mo gihapon, mo connect sa port sa switch. And so on, so forth. So, meaning, every switch nasa gitawag ito og uh, connection from router to switch magitawag na to uplink oh uplink gikan sa atong switch padung sa atong router so maiba nang sa usa ka port so meaning in every 8 ports 7 computers can connect okay sabtan so mamili ta ani wired or wireless connections para ninyo class asa man ang mas nindot nga connections wired or wireless for stationary host, kanang di siya maliyong klihok, di siya magilog irog, mas maayo gamito na to ang wired. Because wired is more stable connection than wireless. Pero kung magamit tag mga gadgets nga naigitawang to mobile gadgets nga need of mobility, na makaliyong klihok ta, makalakaw-lakaw ta, 
Yeah, wala tayong hassle sa cable. Pwede ta mo gamit sa wireless connections. This is where you use on public places where mobile gadgets and devices applicable. User can easily connect their devices with the less hassle and ease. So, di naman ka magkinahal ng cable. Kinahal lang kag is SSID and pressured key. Kung nga ilang gitawag o Wi-Fi and password. Yung kag Wi-Fi, muna sa ang SSID. Service set identifier. Yung kag PSK, pressured key, muna ang password sa Wi-Fi. Okay? Once we are connected, we can test our network. No? Testing network connections. Test out your network for its connectivity. You may use command line utility tools to check and manage your network connectivity. If you're using a router, your work is complete. Once all the computers are connected to a LAN port, they will be assigned IP addresses automatically and will appear on the network. If you set up your LAN for gaming, you should be able to start your LAN game and have each computer connected. So, based on the mga part of the discussion, I use mga command line utility tools. IP config, IP config class all. Uh, to IP config class renew, release, ping to check connectors, uh, computers connectivity. So as we go on our hands-on activities, atong ma-apply tong mga command line. I mean command line utility tools. Okay. Network services and applications. Once you are connected sa hatag ng sample ganiha katong LAN gaming, pwede na ka makastart sa imong local area network gaming or LAN games. So, ngari class, different network services and applications. Network service and application running at the network application layer and above that provides data storage. Pwede ka makastorong data. Manipulation, pwede nyo mo siya ma-edit, ma-rename, ma-modify. Presentation, communication or other capability which often implemented using a client server or peer to peer architecture based on application layer network network administrator will determine the different network services and application and implement network protocol to govern the network so depende nimo class nganong naghimo kag network unsa imong reason or unsa imong uh, unsay gamit sa imong network kung gaming kung net internet connectivity only or pisonet or for database for accounting purposes or bisag unsa nga applicable sa network okay so once you build a network or created a network a LAN so nagi kay purpose sa pagcreate ana pwede sa akong nagi pangsulti ganiha pwede gaming pwede data manipulation data storage internet connectivity O, bisag unsa as long as nga gamit ni mo sa imong network. Okay, that, maybe that's the end of our presentation and maybe the conclusion of this as we go on our activities po class, kung na chance sa so, so activities, pwede tang uh, mag-create network base sa atong panginahanglan, no? Ana may overview on sound and connect, kinahanglan ta og computers, kinahanglan cable, kinahanglan devices, o kinahanglan tag reasons why we need to create or build the network. I hope you learned something out of this video and thank you for watching and God bless everyone. See you again to our next video. Bye-bye.